Um, I want to thank you all for being here today. What we're here to talk about today is uh, priorities that we've kind of identified for the district. As you'll see when you look at these priorities, they are local focused in nature almost completely. And there's a reason for that. Um, I represent the district, I don't represent Washington, and I want my priorities to, to understand and reflect that. Uh, just a word about how we came to these priorities. Um, we came to them after six weeks in office, after speaking to dozens if not hundreds of people, after fielding literally dozens upon dozens if not hundreds of phone calls and letters a day from our constituents, from speaking to our executive committee, from speaking to our local advisory group, and to speaking to our transition team among others, we've identified these, these areas of priorities and I want to go through them for you right now. First of all, fighting for, um, excuse me, engaging in ongoing discussion of the 81 rebuilding project. It's obvious from my previous uh, uh, discussions with the media that that's a high priority for me. The, th the second thing is fighting for affordable higher education and supporting our local education institutions. That's a two-pronged approach, obviously. How is it and why is it that education is so, so expensive in this country and what can we do about it, if anything? And uh, the next thing is supporting policies that improve health care in Central New York and through lower costs and expanded access for families and veterans. That has to do with the entire Obamacare issue. It also has to do with supporting the local uh, medical institutions and how, how it's changing, how Syracuse is becoming more of a medical hub for this region based on uh, what's happening with Obamacare. Protecting Central New York's agricultural com community is self-evident. We don't need to say more about that right now. Working for policies that promote economic growth in Central New York, again, being a cheerleader for the Central New York economy and, and doing things that help Central New York uh, grow as, a, as an economy. Supporting Central New York tourism efforts, everything from the arts to uh, the Harry Tubman House, and uh, emphasizing some of the jewels like Fort Ontario, for example, and trying to get assistance with making that a better tourist destination, and uh, the arts in Syracuse, the arts in Auburn, those, ty those types of things. Prioritizing commitment to veterans, uh, we've already hired a, a veteran on our staff, and we're going to continue to do identify veteran-related issues. We work on them on a regular basis. Creating an adolescent mental health care task force. That, needs to, that addresses a critical shortcoming in the central New York area, a shortcoming that really is evident throughout uh, the, the upstate New York area. Uh, initiating a local conversation on the heroin epidemic. Um, that's in the news a lot lately. Not only do I want to initiate a conversation about it and, and bring it more to light, that it's not just an urban issue, it's a suburban and rural issue. Um, and coming up with solutions is how, what we can do to make it better, uh, address the issue. Uh, providing uh, for forms for community approaches towards solving generational poverty. In the President's State of the Union address, he had almost a Pavlovian response to everything was middle class. But if you note that the Democrats and the President are not talking all about poverty. Rochester has the fifth most impoverished city in the country. Syracuse has the 23rd most impoverished city in the country. And it's getting worse. And the problem is, no one's talking about it. We need to not only talk about it, we need to figure out solutions examine why it's happening and see, see how we can fix it. And lastly, we're promoting, uh, protecting interests in national security. And uh, that's obvious with who I work with the Homeland Security, uh, both with the, my, my chairing of my subcommittee on the Transportation Security Agency, which I've already, uh, already had hearings on, to my overall responsibilities with respect to uh, Homeland Security and uh, my work on the Counterterrorism Task Force as well. So uh, with, those are the priorities. Uh, we, we have a lot to do here. And uh, I'll open up for questions.